Hmm. Good morning. Um, we set up out front to get a glimpse of the new color of the house. And because uh, it's a lovely day out, blue skies. Oh, nice. So, welcome to Friday. We got a tough reading today. And uh, I sort of surprised by how super well this fits with a mighty fortress. I'm going to sing the first two verses today and the, and the second two verses tomorrow because these two readings really, really fit uh, about our about our enemy. So that's number 656, verses 1 and 2. A mighty fortress is our God, a trusty shield and word. John chapter 13 verse 1 and I saw a beast rising out of the sea with ten horns and seven heads with ten diadems on its horns and blasphemous names on its heads and the beast that I saw was like a leopard its feet were like a bear's and its mouth was like a lion's mouth and to it the dragon gave his power and his throne and great authority one of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed, and the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against it? And the beast, beast was given a mouth uttering haughty and blasphemous words, and it was allowed to exercise authority for 42 months. It opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God, blaspheming his name and his dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. Also, it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. And authority was given it over every tribe and people and language and nation, and all who dwell on earth will worship it everyone whose name has not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of the life of the Lamb who was slain. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. If anyone is to be taken captive, to captivity he goes. If anyone is to be slain with the sword, with the sword must he be slain. Here is a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. Here was a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. Yeah. Take a deep breath, okay? Let it out. It's going to be okay. Everybody gets worked up about the beast, about the mark of the beast, about the Antichrist, and who is this, and is it you, is it you, is it you, is it, is it that thing, is it this person, is it a giant computer, is it the European Union, is it the Soviet Union, is it can't be that anymore. Is it Vladimir Putin? Is it uh, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Is it uh, uh, is it the Pope? Is it whatever? <laughs> the people 
like a Nicolas Cage movie, you know, that we love these big, complicated things. Ooh, we'll figure them out and, and uh, secret codes and so on. That This is uh, a fleeting image. This is a, a big picture of a humongous period of time, not uh, not an individual that shows up uh, um, towards the towards the end of the world and starts doing bad things. How long is this the the beast? How long is it uh, persecuting God's people? For it says forty two months for the entire period of tribulation, the one thousand two hundred and sixty days, the time and times and half a time, the the three and a half years, the time of tribulation from when Christ ascended until he returned that entire time is the beast. Well, how's that? So there isn't a person that's alive for all that time, right? For the last 2,000 years. What is the beast? Well, it has ten heads. Uh, no, seven heads. Ten horns. I'm not sure how ten horns are distributed on seven heads, but, the, but it's symbolism, right? It, it, it's seven heads because he is uh, he's setting himself up as God. And the ten, ten is a number of, of uh, the, the fullest power or the fullest amount or the fullest, you know, so God uses also for, um, for a perfect time, a ten or a multiple of ten. So, uh, so Satan... Um, the dragon in chapter 12 is frustrated in his attempt to to uh, kill the church and and in the end of that chapter he stands on the sand of the sea and now now he he draws out this the beast that has all these names and all these crowns these are i think pretty reliably kingdoms whether they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, specifically uh, a large number um, that in many ways will attack the believers of Jesus, the, the, the offspring of the woman, the church. And, uh, and so they are uh, forces of government, forces of, of science, forces of uh, of e economics, forces of culture, forces, whatever are the big things in our world that, that, um, that push back against Christ. Uh, some of those things, culture, science, education, you know, all, all these, like the large parts of our world, um, medicine, all, all these things are often in service of the gospel. But when they turn against the gospel, technology, for instance, when technology turns against the gospel, who can oppose it, right? These are these uh, corporations, let's say, such as uh, Google or Facebook, uh, Alphabet. They they are such enormous corporations all over the whole world that who could oppose them? How can you escape them? They uh, they have the power to to uh, to stop this video right to say don't you can't watch that and we're going to take it down and i could put it up again someplace at some dinky little hole in the wall website you know that you'd have to go find um and then the search engines could keep you from finding it who can oppose them now, i'm not just to be clear i am not identifying google or facebook with the beast, the beast. <laughs> but these broad for and not not specifically but these right forces of the world that oppose the Christian faith uh, that that um, that oppress believers in Christ that push people or try to turn people away from Christ there are many and they are uh, more and more vociferous more and more anxious to move people away from Christ as an outmoded way of thinking right and always have been and so governments the the Roman government was most visible to John at the time of the Revelation and, and the Roman Emperor as someone who uh, um, who met all the qualifications for this image uh, Nero and Caligula like you, you could say that in different times both of them uh, 
looked like they were dead, but then were thought to come back. Uh, after Nero was dead, there were there were all kinds of uh, rumors and prophecies about him coming back from the dead. Or he wasn't really dead; he was really over here, and he was preparing an army. He was going to come back. All those kinds of things. So there were there were people, uh, there were individuals in John's day that appeared to fulfill the the qualification of the beast, and yet it was not just an individual. Uh, the, the, the government of Rome that oppressed the believers, but also uh, the, the culture that, that tried to seduce them away. And um, uh, I guess tomorrow we get into the, the second beast and the false teachers and the, uh, those things that have coming on over the centuries again and again and again. There's always something. And the, the Christian who is discerning sees all these things that uh, that stand in the way of faith that push back against faith that seek to substitute for faith and that the world worships all oh, power and glory oh this is this is an amazing thing and and great stuff um, but they put it in place of Christ and this over here oh this is uh, you know this is even better. And we run after this. And they put it in the place of Christ. It doesn't matter what it is. It's in the place of Christ. And the believer says, no, this is what I'm about. So I get members sometimes who want me to, uh, uh, want the pastors to, um, uh, to support the government in something. You know, that, that we should say the government wants everybody vaccinated. And we know that vaccines are good. And so you should tell people that they should get vaccinated and they should listen to the health authorities or whatever. But um, the church is not in the business of building up the government. We have a king, right? We are part of a, a different culture and nation. We have another citizenship besides our citizenship in whatever country we reside, we reside in. And the government, look at your history, has not always been a friend of Christ's church. So the government does its thing, we do our thing. And, and uh, regardless of what the government does, we have what God has given to us, guaranteed. We have this place in heaven. We, we, not, we have knowledge of who the victor will be. Uh, if anyone has an ear, let him hear. Your name has been written in the book, in the book of life of the Lamb who was slain. That is not a literal book with pages, but in the heart, uh, in the in the mind of Christ, your name is there because you belong to Him. There will be all kinds of great, great forces in the world, and. and Huge historical movements. We are unmoved by them. Because we remain in Christ. And many of these things will come to, to try to lead us away from Christ. Our names are written in Him. We're secure. I hope that's... That, I, I wonder if I muddied the water. I don't know. Um... What I, what I most want to emphasize, I guess, is this. Not trying to say, this is the beast, that's the beast, there's the beast. Some specific individual thing, but rather the beast. All those things, uh, the seven heads, right? The, the ten names, the ten crowns, all those many things that work against us. We are in Christ. And so we are not afraid of the dragon, Satan. We are not afraid of his of, of the forces that he raises up. We're in Christ. We have overcome. We have overcome the world. And a mighty fortress is our God, a trusty shield and weapon. And even though the old evil foe means us deadly woe, um, and uh, deep guile and great might are his dread arms in fight. Yet. Oh, and on earth is not his equal. That's what these people were saying here, right? And yet, uh, for us fights the valiant one whom God himself elected. Heavenly Father, 
we are so tiny in this little in this in this great world your church appears uh, such a small thing and even the largest churches even the great church bodies with many people all their money had uh, none of them approach the wealth of of even one of the great uh, great uh, million billionaires of the world uh, we have so little power except we depend on your power which is greater than all others oh Lord the great forces of the of the earth uh, believe that they can direct the history of the world but Lord the history of the world is in your hands and the path that we will follow uh, will lead to you at last Grant that we and, and all those with whom we may share the gospel may be written in the, in the book of life of the Lamb who was slain and remain with you forever. In Jesus' name, amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Ha <laughs> ha